today I'm going to show you another backpackers recipe and what I did was I soaked about uh, one cup of cashews now if you're going to soak cashews I say at least an hour to two hours you want to soak them so it gives you a nice creamy texture so I have one cup here that I'm going to add to my larger container and to this we're going to start adding some ingredients what we're going to do is make almost like an alfredo sauce but there's certain there's different ways you can make this you can make this with cashews and cauliflower if you really want to go super um, light calories you could do just cauliflower but because we're doing a trail um, a trail meal uh, we want to be able to have some decent calories so we could push forward and not collapse in the middle of the woods so we're gonna go with just the cashews so let me just tell you what I'm gonna put so to this we're gonna add one and a half cups of milk and we're going to prepare this ahead of time so when we cook the pasta we're going to mix everything together and then we're going to de dehydrate it. Okay, here's, I need a little extra to make one cup, but here's one cup for now. I'm going to get another container of milk. So I'm starting off with one and a half, but if I find it's still too thick, I will add more. So I'm going to do a half plus a little more because I was missing some. So we've got one and a half. Uh, now we could also add pasta water. If you're cooking pasta and you, after you've pulled your pasta out and you drained it, you could actually use the pasta water because that adds a little bit of starch. Or you could use plain water, which I'm going to do. I'm going to add some water to this. Here we go. And to this, I'm going to add at least... There we go, about a quarter cup, about a quarter cup of water. There we go. We're going to add two cloves of garlic. Now, if you want it more garlicky, add more. That really is up to you how much you want to add. I'm going to use only two. Maybe I could get away with one. These are so big. But you know, you want a nice garlicky, creamy Alfredo. But remember, if you don't like garlic, guys, don't put the garlic in. Here's one clove. So I hope you guys are giving some of those backpacking recipes a try. Remember, these recipes aren't just for backpacking. You could just keep this in your home already pre-made. And it just makes life really easy if... You have kids. You just take one of these packages that are pre-made. All you have to do is add some water and it takes minutes to cook. Okay, so to this I'm going to take about a third of a small onion. We're going to add a little bit of salt to this, but then we'll taste it. Uh, if we need to add more salt to it later, we will. So I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon just to start. I'm going to put a little drizzle of maple. Now, if you don't want to use cashews, you could do this like a bechamel sauce. If you're not sure how to make a bechamel sauce, uh, I do have some recipes up that you can check. So I'm going to put about maybe, there we go, about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, a teaspoon of maple. We're going to put a little bit of black pepper. And again, these you could do later on also. You don't have to do it now while you're blending your mixture. This is just to get the base going. And we're going to add some. Where is my spoon? My spoon is not where it should be. So I'm going to have to use a regular spoon and eyeball it. But you want to put about a tablespoon of um, tapioca starch. And we're going to add a little bit of miso. And I'm using a white organi organic miso. Um, what this does is actually. Mm, if you smell this miso, so what it does is it adds almost like a Parmesan taste to your creamy cheese. So I'm going to put about a nice tablespoon of miso. Mm, I love miso. And now I'm going to put some nutritional yeast. There we go. I'm going to put one heaping, two heaping, and if I want a little more cheesy, I might add more, but for now... That's what I'm doing. I'm going to blend this up and then there's other ingredients we have to use to make this delicious creamy 
mixture that we're going to cook our beautiful little shells. So for now, we're just going to blend this. Okay, now there's different ways of doing this. What you can do is cook your pasta, dehydrate your pasta, and then add some ingredients, which I'm going to show you uh, a cheaper version of, because cashews are expensive, but these cashews are very healthy for us, especially if we're going to be doing a backpacking. Let me just blend this and then I'll explain it to you. Okay, I just want to show you. It's not quite as thick as I want it. Mmm, so good. Okay, so we want it just a little thicker. Now to this, we're going to add just a little bit of instant potato. I'm sorry guys, I'm using a regular spoon because my other spoon's in the sink. We're going to put one, two heaping tablespoons of instant potato flakes. I think I'm going to add a little extra nutritional yeast. Another tablespoon of nutritional yeast. But otherwise, the flavors are fantastic. Oh yes, I forgot my pinch of nutmeg, guys. Here we go. Just a pinch of nutmeg. Maybe two pinches. And that's going to be so good. Okay, let's blend this up. So I waited till the end to put my potatoes because if it was too thick, I would have had to have added just a little extra water or milk. So I'm going to show you. Oh. My God. Okay, so here are. Sorry about my damaged fingers, guys. It's a long story, I'll tell you one day. Okay, so here is my sauce. I'm gonna show you. It's nice and thick. You don't want it pasty, you want it a little runny, almost like a very thick cream. If you find it's too thick, what you have, just add a little either pasta water. Well, you could add either a little bit of pasta water or you can add a little extra milk depending on how rich you want it. My God. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. Um, actually, I could squeeze my lemon now. You know what? No, let me cook my pasta first and then I'm going to squeeze lemon in that and I'm going to um, add it to the pasta. Now, we are going to cook up some pasta, but we are not going to cook it completely cooked. You want it a little al dente, because what we're going to be doing is that we're going to, uh, when we go backpacking and it's time to cook our meal, we're going to be soaking that pasta in some water, and then we're going to cook it. Not for long. So we will cook the pasta, but we're not going to cook it. We're going to kind of leave it al dente because if it cooks a little more while we're hiking, it's not the end of the world. So I'm going to start off with uh, a nice package, one package, and this is 454 grams of shells. I'm going to cook that up, and then we're going to mix everything together, and then we're going to dehydrate it. Okay, I was going to wait, but I'll do it now so I could get it out of the way. I'm going to take the juice of half a lemon, and I'm going to add it to my cashew cream. You know what? I'm going to do the juice of a whole lemon. Uh, sorry, lemon. Lime. Yeah. There we go. And I am going to blend this up. There we go. Let's taste it. Oh my God, I wish you guys can taste this. Now if you want this a little more garlicky, guys, just add extra garlic. Mm. I could just drink that. Okay. While that's waiting, I am gonna take some TVP, 
Now, I don't have to cook my TVP because that's only going to swell up once I make my uh, my meal when we're, when we're there hiking. So I'm just going to add the TVP for some extra deliciousness because that's going to give us some protein to uh, help us with our uh, muscle recovery. Turn that up. I'm just going to add a little bit of sauce. And drain as much water out of the uh, out of the pasta. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Perfect. We're done. Okay, so I'm just going to get a spoon and mix this. Look how beautiful this is, guys. Okay, we're going to put some TVP. Okay, I'm putting... A third of a cup of TVP because this will swell up, guys. This is going to rehydrate itself. You will add a little extra sauce to this. Look how beautiful. I'm telling you. Making backpackers meals or just making meals for the family. Now, this doesn't have to be a backpacker's meal. What you could do is you could just make this as a dish. Uh, but I would advise uh, maybe frying up some uh, TVP with some, um, to rehydrate it, with some uh, either onions. I'm not using any oils whatsoever in this recipe uh, because if we're going to dehydrate it, I don't want to have the oils in. There we go. Look at that, just a little extra sauce I'm going to put. So we're going to have plenty of, plenty of stuff to bring with us or for another hiking trip. Okay, and we're going to put a little bit of fresh, I'm using dried, not fresh, I'm using some dried parsley that I dried myself. A little bit of parsley. And this is how simple it is to make this meal. So there you go, guys. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on uh, my dehydrator sheet. And we're going to dehydrate this until it is dry. And then we're going to bag them. And then for every cup that's dry that you put to rehydrate, you're going to put about a cup of water. got some of my grated cheese and that's that guys this is pasta ready to be dehydrated for a trip look at that mm -mm -mm. I wish you guys can taste it I'm gonna make Mikey taste it even though my TVP is still a little crunchy and she'll tell you how good it is I know it's good is my fresh parsley here we go so Erica do you want to come and taste this and tell me what uh, you think sweetie mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. that's really good mm. my god so good mm -hmm. a little extra goodness I'm going to put some black pepper. My black pepper. And that's how easy it is to make a nice Alfredo dish for your camping trips, guys. Mm. 
my god, I can't wait to eat this. I gotta stop. I better not eat it now because I won't have any <laughs> when we go hiking. <laughs> okay, so be right back. Okay. Onto my sheet. Remember, don't overcook your pasta. You want it just slightly al dente so that you uh, don't, you don't want to overcook it. Okay, so we're just going to drizzle some extra sauce. There we go. Mm, my God, it's good. Okay. Some extra parsley. Some extra black pepper. Taste for salt. If you want to add extra salt, you can do that also. And this is going to go into the dehydrator until it is completely dry. So there you go guys, beautiful creamy Alfredo pasta for your hiking trips. This is dangerous. Okay, so my daughter told me not to dehydrate the rest because she wants to eat it for dinner. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you in a bit and I'll show you what it looks like once we put it together. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Eric and I just got back from our practice and I promised I was going to show you how to make my a new hiking recipe. So what we're gonna make today is a creamy uh, Alfredo pasta and we already dehydrated. I also have a little bit of nutritional yeast in the pouch and that's gonna be so we can sprinkle that on top of the pasta when it's done. Now there's different ways of doing it. Uh, you can actually take this pasta, add water to your pot if you have one of those hiker mugs that look like a pot that you could actually screw on tight. Uh, it comes with a lid. Uh, I'll try and find a picture for you. But it's basically like a mug and you can cook with it, but it also has a screw on top. So what you could do is dump this pasta in there along with the uh, boiling water and you're going to just let it sit and rehydrate. Or you can also use cold water and then just carry it with you until you're ready to eat it. But you do need to let it soak and come back to life. So I'm going to start off using hot water in my pot and then I'm going to let them soak a little and then what if there's extra liquid I'm just going to cook it out over my burner. Okay so right now here's the dehydrated pasta. I've got two cups of dehydrated pasta. I know it doesn't look pretty when you're looking at it this way and here's my little silica pouch which I am going to reuse again because it's still in great condition and these are the ones that I told you the little dry sacks that will change color kind of get blue inside so when you see that they start getting very swollen you could actually reactivate these by putting them in a warm oven low heat or you can microwave them and then they become uh, back it goes back to normal where you can reuse the pouch but this is still good so I'm just gonna put it aside and reuse that and my bags I'm gonna take them home when I go hiking these bags will come home with me because I'll give them a rinse and I'm going to uh, reuse them again so uh, here's my instruction basically it says to add two cups of boiling water to this So I have my water already boiling. Remember, you can use boiling or cold depending the method or the, sy the system you use. Here we go, that's one. And here is two. So it's one cup of pasta and one cup of water. So I'm just gonna let this sit. And this is gonna sit and it's gonna fluff up and get nice and light again and creamy. And then if you see the water is still too much, I want to just cover this. If you see there's just way too much water and your pasta's back to normal again, what you can do is just put it over a flame and uh, just remove, just cook some of the water out. So there's different ways of doing it, but it's a very easy, easy system. 
and this is going to be super delicious so i'm just going to let this rehydrate and then i'm going to come back and i'll show you okay guys i just want to show you and i'm going to explain why i'm using two cups of water uh, this has been 10 minutes now and as you could tell there's still liquid in there and that's because we're going to cook out the rest of the water if you use less water uh, you're going to have to stop on your hike and you're going to have to mix your pasta because otherwise your pasta is going to get uh, soft at the bottom and the top is not going to it's not going to rehydrate uh, because you're not going to have enough water to cover it but since we waited 10 minutes our pasta is nice and soft now now all we have to do is just cook down the water which really won't take long and your pasta is going to come back to life and you're going to have delicious creamy alfredo pasta so let's do this guys i've got my burner going and i am slowly going to put it here so you can watch it and we're going to cook the water out of this dish and that won't take long either and then all we're going to do is put some of our nutritional yeast on top and our pasta is ready and done Remember, if you're using less water, you're going to have to stop, shake your container, uh, make sure that the noodles all get rehydrated with less water. Otherwise, um, like I said, i rather put the extra water in it and everything stays submerged under the water and your pasta all gets rehydrated evenly. And all you have to do is once you get to the camp, you take your pasta and you... Uh, and you just cook the water right out of it and everything will be nice and creamy again. Maybe I should use my my other pan so this way it does it faster. So basically 10 minutes. It's been soaking for 10 minutes. I will use this one instead. Let me just change up the pot. This way it's easier for you to look at. It's going to cook down faster in my shallow pan. That's it. All we want to do is just cook that water right out and our dinner is ready. Not hard to do. You, you know, some people say, well, you know, first you have to soak it and then you have to cook it. It doesn't matter because... Uh, when you're getting at your campsite and you're ready, you know what meal you're making. By the time you put up your tent and by the time you get your sleeping bags in, uh, your, um, your pasta is already soaked. And all you have to do is just cook that water out and it's done in no time at all. And that little burner, your alcohol burner, has enough fuel to... Make yourself something hot to drink, maybe a hot chocolate, especially like a day like we had today. It got rained on. We, we got rained on. Uh, it was like nice and wet for us out there. But we still did our practice hike. And yeah, it's all good. Now we're at home and we're just relaxing. And I wanted to show you how simple it is to make this dish. So this is almost done guys, so I just wanted to show you how easy it is and uh, I'm going to put some delicious nutritional yeast on top for my daughter, some extra nutritional yeast. And there you go. Dinner is served. So I hope you like this recipe and if you do give it a try, come back, leave a comment, tell me what you think about it. And remember, it's so delicious, it doesn't have to be... Um, a backpacker's meal uh, this could be just a regular dinner you're gonna make for your family you don't have to dehydrate them but if you want to make some prepper food or some campy food uh, very simple to make so there you go and guess what guys I'll see you in my next one for more videos like this make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends